Hey guys, it's Josh. Hey guys, it's Michael here from GBU. GBU. And today we're going to talk about 2023 best picks for your job blaster. We're going to go through a variety of styles uh, for you guys just to help you decide what blaster you're going to purchase in 2023. We've got SMGs, we have rifles, we have pistols, and we have AKs. So, so bear with us while we go through some in-depth decisions on why these particular blasters are best suited for you guys for 2023. So first up guys, we have the MP5 platform. This is the Classic Army MP5 SD. Now why we reckon it's the best platform is because it is a full metal variant. Now there is a few other brands of metal, but we just think the Classic Army is that much better. And why we think that? Because we do have replacement gearboxes with MOSFETs and we have all the parts available for this. So if you do want to upgrade this and absolutely pump it, you've got everything available on our website that you can take this to the next level. I know personally, Mike, you've actually done a six stage three build in one of these bad boys and it was quite simple to do yeah yeah we, we did two actually so yep. next plan is hpa so yeah bear, bear with me for that so that's why we think the classic army mp5 sd is the best pick for your mp5 platform it also is a cqb blaster and looking at the length of it it is also good for long range so you get the best of both worlds with this gel blaster so that is our top pick for the mp5 smg all right guys next up is the wells arp9 now this thing consists of a full metal gearbox you have a metal handguard barrels your stock everything's metal now this is one of the by far leading arp9s that has hit the market it hit the market late last year but it's by far going to be the most sought after arp9 for 2023 now the reasons why i believe this and the shop believes this is a the metal gearbox b it's got a mosfet in it which the second you plug the magazine in it will automatically start priming your magazine so again that is another good thing because you're not going to be dry firing your gel blaster which essentially puts damage on the box itself so out of the box, this thing is shooting around 300 to 310 feet per second, which is absolutely ideal, especially for CQB. So if you're running a muck on a field close to you, you don't necessarily need to hop up because of the FPS and the range that you will be shooting, but you go and pair this thing with something, say a Razor X hop up, you will absolutely demolish your opponents on the field. Another key factor about this particular model is that it does have the exactly the same gearbox as your MP5, which was just previously shown which also means that it is highly upgradable as well. Now we have taken the liberty of upgrading two of these things so far, one a HPA and one a stage three custom. So the world is your oyster when it comes to this metal ARP9. By Wells. <laughs> oh, wow. All right guys, next up we have the Double Bell CQB rifle. Now Double Bell have come out with a lot of gel blasters in 2022 and they're and their construction and performance is absolutely second to none. That is why to finish off the SMG rounds, um, we are showing the Double Bell CQB. The reason why this is amazing, it is a full metal construction. It does have a Pit Viper buttstock, which is adjustable. It does also come with its own hop-up at the box, which does save you purchasing a hop-up separate to your blaster purchase. So you do save in that sense. It comes with a metal mag. These come punching 320 FPS out the box. Super, super reliable as well. If you do want to upgrade this gel blaster, we have so many parts for it as it is V2. And if you would like to replace the gearbox, we also have the replacement gearboxes available for you. Now, all those things put into one is why we think the Double Bell CQB rifle is the top M4 rifle for CQB of 2023. Um, solely for the fact that it will be definitely hard to beat um, and it is super well constructed. Everything from the markings on it to the construction and the quality. It just can't be compared to anything. So we give this one the tick of approval for your CQB M4 style. As you've seen previously, we've done the CQB ARP9, the CQB MP5, and for the M4 style, it is definitely gonna have to be this double bell. Now in saying that, double bell also make main M4 rifles, not just CQB rifles. So if you're looking for any rifle, at all, whether it be CQB or long range, the double bell range absolutely dominates the market better than anything we've seen in the market. So check out some former videos of the double bell range that we've shown, which will show FPS, which will show shooting, and the range of these things are absolutely phenomenal. So that's it for the SMGs. Let's jump straight into the AK range. So next up on the list is the double bell AK74US. 
Now this thing absolutely packs a punch shooting around 320 to 325 feet per second out of the box, which is absolutely amazing. Now this thing is a full metal construction, which ranges from the very tip to the very end, even down to your magazine, full metal. Now it does come with a little bit of wood furnish, which is cool because it breaks up the whole dynamic of the actual blaster itself. Now the quality of this thing is absolutely unmatched when it comes to an AK. Um, now even their other range as well, they even do a full metal gold AK, which is it's longer than the screen basically. But for now we're going to show you this 74 US. Um, again, it is in our opinion that this is by far the best suited AK range for you guys. Now. The FPS out of the box is 310 to 320 feet per second, which again, if you want to take this thing to a CQB field or even Milsom, entirely up to you. So again, what makes it great for CQB is it has a fully collapsible stock. And then again, if you want to go back to Milsom, spin that thing around and away you go. So there is all the rails as well. So you have like a, a tri-rail here. So it means you've got a rail on each side and one underneath. So. It actually does come with a little foregrip, but unfortunately I don't have it here because I could use it on custom. You can also get replacement top rails again, so you can put like a rail up top. You can even get sight mounts. So the AK, again, is highly customizable as well. It's not just something that you get out of the box and then that's what you've got. You can fully upgrade this thing as well. So again, Double Bell come with another banger and Double Bell is the brand for 2023. Keep your eyes peeled because there's gonna be some sick releases as well in different platforms that will come out. So let's jump to the next one. So next up on their list, we have the HK416 model. Now, Double Bell do make a HK416, but the one we are showing today is the Golden Eagle HK416. Um, it is significantly better in our opinion. Um, as much as Double Bell make an awesome blaster, the HK just got taken over by Golden Eagle, and we just think it is a way more solid, a way more classy finish than the Double Bell brand. So here you have it, the Golden Eagle, full metal construction, does come with a hop up, a metal adjustable hop up, so you don't have to purchase it separate, a full quad rail handguard, um, a full metal magazine, you've got a metal internal, you've got a metal external, you have a metal buffer tube, a fully adjustable buttstock, and the performance of this is absolutely insane. This is punching a significant 350 FPS out the box. I know it's absolutely insane, and these are absolutely selling out like crazy. So if you're looking at something a bit more chunkier than an M4, let's jump on the HK specifically by Golden Eagle. The link will be in the description. But overall, everything from the selector switches to the engravings on the receiver is absolutely second to none. So that is why we think the Golden Eagle HK is definitely the pick for your HK base model. Because if it's FPS, obviously you guys will be saying, well, what about the accuracy? We can ensure you with the hop up that is provided, the accuracy of this thing is absolutely insane. Now, in saying that as well, the gearbox is highly modifiable, so you can take the gearbox out if you wanna make a faster rate of fire, if you wanna do HPA, if you wanna do whatever, you can do it with this. So that's just one of many reasons why we choose the Golden Eagle HK over any other HK on the market. Now last year we did a video and the top of the line HK was the war interest one, which is in fact a nylon version. So we are proud to announce that 2023, we are offering the metal HK by Golden Eagle. So that's it for that. Let's jump on to the next one. Next up is the value line M4SS by Double Bell. Now, this thing here, again, with the value line, don't underestimate this thing. Now, the reason why it is classed as a value line blaster is because it has a full nylon construction with a full metal gearbox. That means that your metal gearbox housing is physically metal with all metal internals as well, guys. Now, this thing is an absolute underdog when it comes to these gel blasters because of A, it's FPS, B, it comes with a hop up out of the box, which is insane. So again, hats off to Double Bell for making another classic blaster, which for those that know back in the day, the yeah, MFSS was a full nylon build, which was absolutely rubbish, unfortunately. But for now, what we have is a fully upgraded version, which is again, fully modifiable as well, guys. So. If you want to add the sides, you want to upgrade the gearbox, it's fine out of the box to do so. So there is in fact two other variations of the value line. So it comes in an M16 style and then it comes in a M16 CQB style as well, 
which the links will be for both of those products will be in the description as well under this one here. Now this one out of the box is shooting around 300 to 310 feet per second. Uh, 350. Is it? 100%. That's why it's fucking going off bro. So the FPS on this thing out of the box is 350 feet per second, which is absolutely insane because if you went back two years ago, your max FPS was about 260. <laughs> um, and then you had to put a lot of money and time into a blaster to get it to kind of where it is today. And I guarantee you, you will not get something as strong as this out of the box for the price of this thing. So it is our honest opinion that we find that this blaster will be very hard to beat in 2023. That's why it is in our top five picks of this year and the years to come. Until Double Bell trying to outdo themselves again, which is, it's going to be hard to outdo what they've already done this year and last year. So again, these things are flying off the shelf. So this is something that you'd like. I'd definitely get into it now because they will not last long. All right, guys, so that's it for rifles. Um, it's actually top six, not top five. Top six. But, um, but there you go, I thought I'd clarify that. So um, after all the rifles have been done, also don't be scared to chuck comments down below of what you think the best blaster is. If it's not on the wall behind us, then definitely chuck it in. We'll be happy to know what your guys' opinions are and we are not um, we're not saying these are the only gel blasters that have been released that are the best. We know there's a lot of others. It is just as a part of GBU um, that we are just sharing in our honest opinion because we do modify these. In fact, Michael does modify these on a daily basis and it comes down to just more than a construction and a look. It actually comes down to how modifiable they are, how easy um, parts are for it to be accessed. It just comes down to a whole variety of things where a lot of blasters get released and nothing's available for them. So if they do break or you do want to upgrade them, it's actually very hard to get your hands on that type of stuff. So our opinion is definitely based on more than just the um, more than just the superficial look in the performance. It goes much deeper. So in saying that, we're going to finish this video off with three different platforms of pistols and um, we're going to go hard with that. So next up, we have the P226 by Double Bell. Now I know you guys have been hearing the word Double Bell throughout the whole video is because Double Bell is absolutely dominating the market. There's a lot of brands out there such as APS, such as Ares and all that and they're great blasters. But when it comes to quality and overall performance and overall modification, we do need to give um, credit where credit's due. So the Double Bell P226 is an amazing pistol. Now why is it amazing? Why is it different to everything else on the market? Now the reason is because the internals of these pistols are made with the utmost attention to detail from the blowback housing to the recoil. Now a lot of pistols that have been released have had weak recoil springs which then makes the blowback quite slow and that's not what you want when you think gas blowback pistol. Now the P226 has a very, very snappy recoil. The whole mid frame is metal, the whole top is metal, all the internals, all the internals are metal, and the barrel that's inside is a brass with an integrated hop-up, which has instant accuracy straight out the box. It is punching 300 plus FPS, and the accuracy is up to about 15 to 20 meters. Now, a lot of pistols previously were released, you'd have to extend the barrel, then put a hop-up on it. That's a bit old school. It made the pistol lose its genuine look. So now Double Bell have integrated everything, same as Golden Eagle. And you'll see Michael will talk about Golden Eagle in a second. But these pistols are just getting better and better with the performance and the accuracy you would expect from a gas pistol heading into 2023. So that's the P226. Um, I know a few other brands make it, but for us, Double Bell took the cake with their latest release. So let's jump onto the next one, Michael. What do we got? You want me to do it? No, no. Just, oh yeah, you, you do that. <laughs> Next one up on the list was a massive, massive seller in 2022. Now this thing is guaranteed to reign amongst most again in 2023. And that would happen to be the Golden Eagle 5.1 high caper. Now the compatibility of this particular pistol is absolutely insane. Now not to mention the wall full of GBU high kappa CNC parts that are hanging out the front there. But also you've got Cow Cow, you've got your Airsoft Masterpiece, all of that stuff, your Garda. There's a lot of brands that will fit inside of this thing with no modification needed at all. Unlike other particular high kappa brands which aren't really compatible with anything bar their proprietary parts, the Golden Eagle by far reigns amongst most. 
Now the FPS of these things out of the box ranges from about 280 to about 295. Now with a slight modification of just the magazine by installing a 9 ball gas route, you can bump that puppy up to about 300 to 310 feet per second, which for a pistol is bloody insane. And the price matches as well, it's very cheap. Um, but again, as I said, the upgrade compatibility on this particular high capper is absolutely next to none. Now it does consist Certain models, the, so you have your standard models and then you have particular models like so, which has a seam seed slide, which has got a bit of a honeycomb type feel. But most of the high cappers, they will come with a steel frame, but then steel internal, so they have absolutely amazing internals. I haven't really run into many problems with the particular internals in here. Sure, you can upgrade if you want to spend extra money, but out of the box, you, you cannot fault the Golden Eagle. So, like Josh was saying with the previous model pistol that it just showed, so this thing does come with a metal integrated hop up in a barrel, which unlike other particular high cappers, a lot of them come with just a standard alloy barrel where you have to extend it, put a hop up on it, which then changes the whole look. You may as well just go out and buy an AEG if that's the case. So, again, <laughs> just upsell it, just buy an AEG if you're gonna put a hop up. <clears throat> so, again, out of the box, accuracy, FPS, it's a massive tick here from us at GBU. Let's go. Next up, and last but not least, we have the Double Bell G22. Now, Double Bell make a G18, which is full auto, makes a G26. Um, it makes all styles of Glock. I'm just talking about the biggest seller will be the G22, um, because it is single fire. It is pretty much closest to the original that you can get without getting fancy. So the G22 Glock pistol um, has all the features that you've just heard from Michael and myself, has the integrated hop up in the barrel, has your metal internals, has all your Titan springs for that perfect recoil, and is just by far the most sturdy pistol you can get. There's a lot of other brands of Glocks and whatnot out on the market, but if you're talking from our professional view, we highly, highly recommend the Double Bell Glock pistols. Again, if you do encounter issues, if you do encounter things that you need to replace, they are fully accessible and available on our website. We will not leave you stranded if something goes wrong. And in saying that, if you'd like to modify it and take it to the next level, we also have all the upgrades needed. So that's the Glock 22 by Double Bell. That is the Double Bell P226, and that is the Golden Eagle 5.1 or 4.3 high capper, or the Golden Eagle 1911s in CO2 or green gas as well. Now, all these glasses will be available on our website. We will leave all the links to each individual product that we've talked about in the description below. If you have friends that are looking to get into the gel ball game, please send this video to them so they can just get a bit educated on what blaster to buy and why and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions down in the comments. So that's enough from us. Thank you so much for your time, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace out, guys.